In the top of the aquarium here, I have a plant called Pothos. The Pothos is a fantastic plant to keep in the aquarium. It absorbs harmful chemicals like nitrates and it's really hard to kill. It's a vine sort of plant. It's also known as Devil's Ivy. You can also get a golden pothos as well. Pothos normally sold as house plants. You can get them from like most garden places. I got all mine from eBay. A lot of pothos in a small aquarium, just like I've got here, is really beneficial to the tank. Just because it improves the water quality though, doesn't mean you can skip or do less water changes. I typically do about 50 to 70% water changes a week on this. Now the good thing about pothos is that it's really hard to kill the plant. It doesn't need a lot of light. It doesn't need any fertilizers or anything like that. It will do fine in low light conditions. I got my bigger fish tank in the living room and that room doesn't get a lot of light at all and the pothos is fine. But in this room upstairs in the back room uh, it does get quite a bit of sunlight and it grows so much quicker. To adapt these plants to your aquarium, you just need to gently rinse the roots of all the dirt and just sit it in the top of the tank. You need to try and get as much of the stem in the water as possible. As any part of the stem in contact with the water will eventually sprout roots. Like this plant here, because the top of the stem is in contact with the water, the roots have grown halfway up the stem, so you'll end up with more roots. And the more roots, the quicker it will grow. Just be careful not to stick any of the leaves in the water, because the leaves will eventually die. So all the leaves have to be above the water level. To propagate the plants, you can cut the stem and replant the stem in the water as a, as a new plant. But make sure that the new stem has about four to six leaves on it. Otherwise, it won't really grow any new roots. If you just cut the stem, it's got one leaf coming off it. There's less chance of the roots growing. I first started using the pothos plant because I liked the way that it grew out the top and then tumbled down the sides. And then I realised how beneficial it was to the water quality and I bought loads more. And since then, it's grown to twice the amount. The roots are really good as well because they provide a lot of hiding places and cover for the fish. But you just got to be careful with these roots because they grow into everything like the sponges on your filter and the substrate and actually grow down into the substrate and through the sponges. It's not a problem, you can just like snip them off. So also what I do with the trimmings is I trim the pothos and put them into jars and just add like old aquarium water because it's got like the nitrates and nutrients in there. I also add a bit of liquid fertiliser as well. I just place them in the kitchen or on a windowsill in the sun. This is the aquarium fertiliser that I use for the jars and stuff. It's just all round fertiliser. So I hope this helps anybody who is thinking about getting pothos. There really isn't any reason not to get it. And there's no real downsides to getting pothos. So if you're thinking about getting it, then you probably should.